Hello, Jenny, and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. Well, since you last saw me, I managed to get a PAX, and I installed it on my pistol, which is my strongest weapon. So now we can non-lethally take down some cyber psychos with a gun instead of just our fists, which is going to be very helpful when we start facing cyber psychos that do a bunch of really crazy and dangerous stuff. So, let's go take down a cyber psycho. Run right next to this travel point. Alright. It is time for us to take on the cyber cycle. Not what I wanted, but that's okay. Area. Plenty of blood infl inflicted indicates deep wounds, traces of alcohol present. Boiler, explosive. Trauma team. Dear client, I regret to inform you that your trauma team policy has expired due to lack of payment. Please remember to act, activate your card immediately so we may continue to keep you healthy and safe in life's most dangerous moments. You can't afford to hesitate when your livelihood is at stake. Trauma team. Oh, well, we're not wrong. Well, he's already dead. He's dead, Jim. Wow. Well, I sustained grievous wounds. Blood loss from multiple wounds, evidence of drug use. Today is your day to clean up after Brick's pet, or else the boss man finds out we made a rabid dog out of the corpse she, she wanted. I swear from God if he makes more messes than he cleans up. It's kind of like having our own trained cougar or some shit. For real, he even howls and growls and shit, so I can't sleep. The fuck you do when he screams so much? Just showed, just showed him what happens when you stand up to Royce. It was Dora's idea to strip out his old chrome. Plus, we beat his face like it was a fucking steep-filled pinata. Can't really talk no more. Just howls like the traitor bitch he is. That means you gotta grab him up and clean up all them fleshy bits and bloody leaves lying around after dealing with our problem customers. Gonna stink it up in here soon. Gonna stink it up in here soon and scare off all yetis. Then get him inside and away from the fucking trash cans already. Ain't complicated. Hey there, buddy. Uh, I'm gonna breach protocol you. Alright, BD is the first one, but of course there's no BD up here. So if I do 1C, 1C, there's no E9 there. Okay, so we're gonna do 55, then BD, 1C, no, 1C, no. 1C, 1C, and there's no E9. Okay, so 55. We could do it this way. Start with E9, then go to BD. 1C, one 1C, one E9. Yep, that'll work. So, E9. BD, 1C, 1C, E9. Here we go. And... You are fast. Dodging my bullets fast. Uh, uh, short circuit. Ow. I forgot to eat. I need a snack. 
Dairy Dairy Milkshake. Oh, I can't do that while I'm fighting. Let's try to make sense. I want the car, I want the cyber psycho coming at me. Short circuit. There we go. Okay, come on. I don't like that you can dodge bullets. Take what the fuck are we gonna do? Brick got a bad feeling Royce wants to fuck you in the ass and he's got the people to back him. We gotta do something. Where the fuck have you been? I'm one hundred fucking percent sure he's gunning for my range. Okay. So well, this guy was Brick's right hand. Don't even mind you, this is the males from Hotspot. If you can find the cyber cycles behind this, please do try to keep them alive. Thanks. It was a gang dispute. The guy was one of Brick's people trying to take revenge on Royce. You can guess how a solo attempt at a vendetta panned out. Got pumped full of drugs, tortured, and made into this wild attack dog of a bouncer. As requested, I didn't flat flatline him, but honestly, I doubt there's much left to collect in the mental state. So I scrounged up some more info. It looks like the guy was Brick's only devotee left. All his other followers turned coat in half a millisec. Not sure he can be saved, but maybe we'll at least learn something new about the onset of cyberpsychosis. Nice work. Okay. There we go. Another one down. Okay, I think there's only one Cyber Psycho left, so we'll go take care of him next. Uh, I could stop by this Ripper Dock, see if they got anything worth grabbing. Oh no, there's another Cyber Psycho down here. Ooh, he's the, the, the baseball guy. Let's see, let's put, put that away. Jump over in it. This one here. Alright, this is the closest fast travel place, so we'll head there. I doubt there's gonna be a fast way to get to it from there, but it's worth a shot. Psycho. Here's the crosswalk. Here's the crosswalk. Oh. I find it very interesting that. Oh, they may be going around. That's what's going on. Who knows what you might find? I knows what I might find. I might find a cyber psycho. Now you guys are not the cyber psycho I'm looking for. Nor are you worth my time right now. Alright, out into the sunshine. Why is there a bone?
This is the one where you come towards it, and it co someone jumps in a car, starts driving away. Hey, something in Northside just erupted, and apparently it's got Maelstromer's hauling ass out of there. See what's going on exactly, oh, and let me know. Interesting. I'm not seeing any other gang activity around the bridge, so we can safely rule out any score settling. Seems to me one of the male strummers has just had a bad day or dialed his implants a little too high. Hard to tell when it comes to them. All I know is the rest showed up at the wrong time and a bloodbath ensued. I'm betting on cyberpsychosis, even Maelstrom's harshest welcomes don't come close to this. Okay then. Let's get out my anti-cyber-psycho gun. Let's start looking for clues. Alright, so. Got a body. Huh. With some money on it. Something over here. Another body. More money on it. Three bodies over here. Let the bodies hit the floor. I know what I just took. I'm not proud of it. So this is a train yard of some kind. More blood. More explosives. Another dead body. There's the cyber psycho. I'm gonna breach protocol you. Alright, 55 BD. 1C55E9, okay. 1C55, no. 1C, you know. 55 BD 1C 55 E9, yeah. 55 BD 1C 55 E9. Alright. Short circuit. Hey, buddy. Oh. Well, I got him down pretty far. He flashbanged me. <laughs> and then he ran off. Okay. Alright, he's coming. He's heading toward me. Which is not good for either of us. Mostly not good for him. Short circuit. Done and done. Read the farewell. Tamara, I've been trying to reach you ever since they took me. I know you're looking and I know you'll find me eventually, but I know now. But I don't know how to make it any easier. I don't think I can get on the net. I should have listened to you. I should have listened when you taught me how not how, but now I fucked myself. Honestly, I don't even think you'll recognize me if you saw me. I... I know I don't. Should just stick a barrel down my throat and be done with it. I'm such a fucking monster. Fuck me. Gang ain't taking me back, not without a bag over my head. Got these, like, tractor hands and ugly, thin, red eyes. All I can think of now is your tunes are poison... are poison you to me. Telling you not to t get with a Valentino. And he'll leave you someone for someone else, vanish without a word. 
I'm gone and they'll beat their chest all justified and tell you, told you so, but couldn't be more wrong. It's driving me so loco, I feel like my head's gonna explode in a million pieces. Can't feel the pressure building and building and building, but I don't know when it's gonna pop. Sorry, my friend. I pray for better times for you. Alright, got the double barrel shotgun from Okay. Also got some pants. Ooh, nice pants. 23.5, 23.5, 23 plus 10 carrying capacity. Alright, new boots. New boots. Those are pretty. Okay, I want to see them. What do I look like now? That's actually not bad. Pretty good combo. I think I got a new... Yeah, ooh. Much better machete. Okay, we're gonna disassemble everything else in here, though. Ugh. Fine. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Alright. Fairly certain there's not much else left in here. But, it's always worth taking a look around. Just to see if they've got... something worth grabbing. Cause you never know... Somebody's hiding a crafting speck you can use. Or a dead guy. We looked up Rudolph with the crone today. And had him spinning hard for a while, but now he's sleeping like a baby. Man, can you imagine the faces on those tears when we roll him over to them like a fucking Trojan cyber horse? Dude, so fucking Nova I want. I'd want to feed from his optics to see him slice open those meat bags alive. By the way, send in the latest equipment. Let me know how our Trojan's doing, because I want to stall it myself. We found some pretty red Kyoshis on him, not gonna lie. He kind of looks like one of us now. I also want to give him back. Wow. So they were essentially trying to make him into a Trojan horse into the Valentinos. Where they'd send him back all modded out. And then he would essentially go cyber psycho and kill everybody. Oh, that's just lovely, isn't it? Oh, I guess I got a message, Regina, don't I? Not journal messages. Okay, Regina Jones, 600. Our kid was a Valentino, not a Maelstromer. Borg fiends must have gotten, must have had an axe to grind with him. They stuffed him with implants like a fucking Christmas turkey and just watched him, watched him waited for him to blow. Some, same would happen to anyone chipped that fast. Body didn't give, didn't have time to adjust to the wear. Turned him psycho. Good thing he still had a little self control left. Then I could take him down quietly. Looks like our guy didn't even have to piss them off. A while ago, Maelstrom put out word it was looking for volunteers to get some new wear. Obviously, nobody stepped up, so the board fucks just started scooping peeps off the street. Valentino's been looking for this kid for a while. Not to mention the runners stormed the net with data feelers trying to track him down. Eventually, he must have broken free and fought for his life. Made the Maelstromers reap, reap what they saw, sowed. Whole thing backfired on them spectacularly. Good thing he managed to get him down. Again, to go down softly, kid's still young, maybe with the right kind of help, he can learn to adapt to his new condition. Alright. There's only one Cyber Psycho left. And one side quest left. Other than this. I'm not gonna do this, cause danger is still very high. And I do not have... Do not have the capacity. Well, kind of 
Be on the path of the century. It's not hard. But it is difficult. And honestly, what you need is the right equipment to take it on. I can do what I need to do. With, uh, with some, some, some upgrade to my person, but so I can afford those upgrades and get them installed, I don't have enough money to get what I need yet. Not even close. That's not true. I could have gotten the, the blue gorilla hands and done a pretty good fight. But as of right now, I'm just... I'm just a stick. I'm a stick with a plan that cannot fight against someone in a fist fight. Okay, let's find and take down this last cyber psycho. And then we just have one final thing to do, which is the main story mission. Alright, I'm not gonna wait. I'm not gonna wait. I'm still surprised how I don't get hit by cars more often. I expect to be hit by car. And yet I'm not. Okay, almost to the Cyber Psycho's location. Alright, here we go. Down here. Over here. Call for Regina. investigate something for me? Caught wind of a scuffle at the docks. Could be junkies, but this thing smells like a cyber psycho flare-up to me. And I want to know if drugs played any part. A cold body's no good to check, so keep him alive. You go. Take out my anti-cyber psycho weapon. One more thing, security in these places is always beefed up, so chances are a guy's gonna pack a heavy punch. Well, I'm already seeing a body. Unresponsive, no pulse. Body sustained, sustained severe injuries from a blunt weapon. Okay. Body and Frank. Hey, Frank, yeah? Hey, yeah! Can you take my ship tonight? They're yelling to me right now. I've been in my feet for 48 hours already. Listen, buddy, you know I wouldn't be asking if I didn't have a good reason. So what is it? I need two ticks to a blackout game tonight. You know, my kid's crazy about it. This is the only game we could squeeze in real short notice. Please, Frank, I'll get you back. Three of your shifts for this one of mine. <laughs> Fine, but for all it's stem, so I don't keel over on duty. Frank, my man, anything. Thanks, you're the best. Yeah, yeah, no problem. And don't forget to snap a little... Snap a still of you and the kiddo, Mr. Dad of the Year. So, this guy was overworked. Probably underpaid. Another body, unresponsive. Blood weapon. Whoa! Fuck me! What? Okay, breach protocol. 55, 55, E9, 1, six. Nope, not gonna work that way. 55, nope, 55, 
55. E9. Nope. 55, 55. E9. 1C55. Here we go. No. Oh. Dang it. Okay. We're gonna do that. Oh, I forgot about that. He likes to jump up there. Get himself a sniper. Oh, okay. What the fuck is going on? Wow, that was terrible shot. Not like this. Oh, I don't want that. Okay, come on. Find something I can hack, so it's causing me issues. Are you gonna come at me again? Good. Not like this! Not me for a There we go. Take it to the Major League. Wait, stop acting like a child. I know you read these even though you want me to think you'd give a shit, but I'd never respond. This guy was overworked, he was taking drugs to um, stay awake. Things are not looking good for him. Then he just went Saber Psycho. Now, the one thing I gotta say is. He, uh, the way I remember it, he was supposed to have a sniper rifle on him, but this time he did not. Right, there's also this guy in here, which seems important. Unresponsive, take. Oh good, crack security. See, one C fifty-five BD BD. There we go. Good the accounts for this month and it looks like we made a handsome profit off of our original investment. I talked to Frankie the guy who claims the glitter cut with Paracet Paracetamol is by far the most popular choice. He also pointed out that attempted break-ins to the warehouse have increased, seeing as our new blend is highly addictive. Thus he's demanding more guards. Thus he's demanding more guards and enhanced security measures. The other thing I nipped that idea in the bud immediately. Told him that we can always replace him with a Kang Tao robot if he can't adequately perform his duties. So I doubt we'll hear any more complaints out of him. Uh, 
And that being said, we should consider the long term. Maybe it's worth swapping him out for a robot. In any case, I'm expecting con- co- continued profits in the short term. But we still lack reliable long term data as we shall see how the product affects our customers' lifespans. Price of an increase in cyberpsychosis cases directly co- correlates with our distribution network. And of course, we'll omit that from the report. In a few months, we'll, we might be in a position to monitor some accurate simulations. Then they gave Frank the task of gathering the necessary data with, within his territory. Of course, it's all about Frank. Make Frank do it. Give him more jobs, more responsibility, more things to do. And then gave him some drugs and he went cyber psycho. Alright, let me report this to Regina. That's not messages. There we go. Regina Jones. I covered a small time drug ring at the port with buffet style variety and what they were pushing. Folks buying it are mostly the local have nots, and the rate of cyber psychotic break- breaks among them is on the rise. I think what we're seeing is a connection driven by the new drug cocktail that's making waves. Got the guy's sleeping family over here, won't be up anytime soon, ready for pickup. Guessing lab work should show you what kind of crap he's been swimming around in his bloodstream. He's got swimming around his bloodstream. Great, appreciate the heads up. Corps don't like getting their hands dirty with people living on the curb level. And when a dealer mixes glitter with coal, coal dust or some other shit, they get any signs in their eyes. The money still lands in their pockets and another bunch of cities undesirables fades from the streets forever. When, when. Sad but true. Alright, I apparently did not get anything from that encounter. Other than a story to tell. Yeah. Yeah. Do I have any... Nope, I don't. Alright, Danny, thank you so much for joining me today. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. Uh, do yourself a favor and eat something that, that you normally... Eat something that you like to eat that you normally wouldn't. Like some candy or some... I don't know, some, something something sweet and delicious. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me once again. And as we always like to say on this channel, don't get assassinated!